Well, I watch MMA for a while, and the biggest thing that draw me into this sport is characters. Well, characters create everything in the sport. They create super fights, they create money, they create everything. But if you want to be a character, you need a signature move. You need an ultimate move. And today we are going to talk about that. And number one, Stockton Slab. Well, Diaz brothers are the most iconic duo in MMA history. We all know that. It's, it's just a fact. And Stockton Slab is the most known, most well-known signature move ever. Because it became a meme. Everyone knows it. Even Nate slapped Dana's head off, you know. Every, everyone knows it. There's not that much story behind this slap. Nate slapped Connor, Leon, Nick slapped Anderson Silva. And the list goes on. It's just fun to watch. And number two. Alexander Olenik's Ezekiel Choke, which is the coolest f***ing name for a choke. Well, if you don't know who is Alexander Olenik is, Alexander Olenik is a f***ing legend. He got 60 wins in MMA. Listen to this, 60 wins. And 12 of his wins came from the same move, Ezekiel Choke. Ezekiel Choke is a very strange move. It's very rarely occur in the UFC events. It's, you don't even understand why the guy tapped right now. The reason that we are not seeing this move that much in UFC events or MMA events because this move is actually very BJJ oriented. When you do this technique, you need to wear G, this traditional BJJ or judo suits. So you can put your hands into your G and you can press your opponent and they can take your hand out. As I said, it's crazy technique. And because of that reasons, Alexander Olenik owns this move. And number three, Dan Henderson's H bump. I see some bad knockouts, man, like literally, but that one was the most scariest knockout ever. Dan Henderson is a legend. He's the most durable fighter of all time. He's literally Iron Man. We all know that. He fought with the most savage fighters at the time. He fought with Van der Lee Silva, Fedor Emelianenko. He never even get finished once. He never get finished once. He's literal savage. On top of that, Dan Henderson actually fought in four different weight classes. He fought in welterweight, heavyweight, middleweight, and light heavyweight. And he never even got finished once. He's a total unit. And H-bomb is actually your normal overhand right. Nothing special. But when Dan Henderson throw it, it looks like a nuclear weapon bar. That's and when that overhand right hits to someone's face, lights off immediately. And number four is Conor McGregor, left hand of God. Left hand of God, probably one of the most iconic signature moves in MMA history. We all know that. Conor McGregor is one of the most polarizing figures in MMA. Even though his last years is not that great, when he was on featherweight, he was a different type of beast. And when he was in his prime, that left hand was a killer. He knocked out legends with it. He knocked out Jose Aldo, he knocked out Eddie Alvarez. I mean, it deserves the name. Number 5 on our list is Mirko Krokop, left high kick. You wanna listen to some tunes? Krokop! Oh! Mirko Krokop is a spectacular kickboxer. He's a one-of-a-kind fighter. And he was a leader of anti-terrorist squad in Croatia. What the hell? Every fighter has highlight videos. Every fighter. But Mirko Krokop's highlights are head kicks. All of them. Every one of them. I mean, to this day, whenever I see left high kick knockout, I immediately think about Mirko Krokop. And this signature move is a mythical weapon. And if you watch the MMA for a while, you probably heard this saying. Right leg hospital, left leg cemetery. 